Okay, it finally came. Special edition June Geek Gear box. This one doesn't have a tab to rip and it's very large. It's very large. I'm excited. Okay, quick review. In this box, we're guaranteed to get a t-shirt, one of those metal art things, displate, I think they're called, and uh, I think some other sort of type of shirt, either a long sleeve shirt or a sweater, oh god, or a hoodie. Okay, so let's just, oh, is it taped? Oh no. Oh my god, it's green. Why is it green? I'm not Slytherin. Oh my gosh. Did they mess up? I'm blue for Ravenclaw. Why is it green? Let's see. A green jumper. It's the right size. It doesn't look like it's like Slytherin, but it's just green. And it has a telephone booth, like how you enter the Ministry of Magic. And some kind of brick design. That's interesting. I like, I don't have any. I, this is my literal first ever sweater without a hood. <laughs> I don't know. I just, that's not really the style. But I like that. I will wear it. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> T shirt. The proper size. Okay. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. A Dumbledore quote, I believe. I hope you can see. I like that. I like that color, like a gray, bluey color. Oops, phone ringing. Oh, what next? This box is a little bit damaged, but it is a Ministry of Magic travel mug. It's, oh my God, it's heavy. Oh my God, it's heavy. I think this is licensed, maybe not. Oh yeah, I think it's licensed. Yeah, it is. It's a licensed product. I guess you should be able to tell by the box anyways. It's heavy. It's got a rubber lid and this is like ceramic or glass or yeah, it's ceramic. So it has Harry Potter there. Harry Potter. And then on this side it has the Ministry of Magic symbol. Plus it says all around Ignorantia. Juris, Neminim, Excusette. So I've never seen all those words before and I'm not sure what they are, but it's that's the Ministry of Magic symbol for sure. And this, um, the top is like rubber and it goes on nice. Oh, that's really nice. That's like a really good quality mug. Happy, happy, happy. I don't drink a lot of hot stuff, but there you are. This is a wallet. This is a, oh no, it's not. It looks like a wallet, but it says universal case. This most, the fits most devices with screens up to 5.2 inches. So this is a, either a phone case or yeah, it's a phone case. But it's also like a wallet thing. It's um, also licensed and it doesn't want to open. There we go. Open. Because I have no idea how excited I am for this. I've been waiting. I almost sent an email yesterday asking like, where is it? Oh my God. So it looks like a, le a letter. It looks like a letter. And then on the back, it's got Harry's address where they send him his Hogwarts letter under his, in his under the stairs 
cupboard. That's so sweet. And if you, oh, oh gosh. So, look at that. It even has like the licensing thing on the inside. You open it up. Your phone should go there, I guess. Oops, I got all this packaging. And then you got room for your cards here. I'm probably going to be using this immediately. Um, I'm videoing on my phone, except that I don't know if my phone, maybe because I have, to, oh, it, oh, it extends. It extends for bigger phones because my phone, just looking at it, looks like it's not going to fit in here. But uh, actually when I do that, yeah, maybe. And when I take it out of that otter box because it's in an otter box. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Exciting. What's this? Oh, it's already cute and I can't even tell what it is. This is a keychain and it's a licensed product again. Oh my god. What is it? It's just a ball of fluff. There's no face on it at all. <laughs> what is it? Is it like one of those? But I thought those things were pink. Oh, is there a face? It feels different here. Oh my gosh. Does this say? Maybe this. I better look. I better look in here. It has the this. It, and it's gray. And it doesn't have a face. Like I, I'm feeling. And it feels different here. Like maybe that's the mouth. But I can't pull the fur away to like see it. And then it has. Geek Gear always uses this little design. With the glasses and the lightning mark. Um. It has that, and it also has a little tiny, what does that say? Oh, it's just like, it has like the license, like it's trademarked by Warner Brothers on this little tiny. Okay, just in case we didn't know. And yeah, this shows the trademark too. Okay, let's look and see what that, this says that that is. It just says Harry Potter pom-pom keyring. We have included a Harry Potter version of a growing fashion trend, pom-pom keyrings. This delightful item features a plush gray pom-pom with silver glasses and scar charm used to, ja to jazz up any bag or attach to keys. Okay, I guess. That's kind of weird, but all right. Oh my gosh. Good thing I looked at this right now. So this is, okay, there's only one thing left, and that's like the, oh, there's two things left. There's a pin, a creepy pin, and um, the art. But this um, says that the jumper, the sweater is glow in the dark. So that's cool. Never had anything like that before. Now I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna turn the lights off in a minute. I'll show you the last two things. Okay, so there is a pin, and this is a freaking massive pin. And that is a howler. Yep, pretty sure that's like, the letter is like yelling at you. It doesn't call it a howler, but that's because it's designed by Geek Gear, so I don't know. Like, what other letter would yell at you like that? That's kind of... I don't like it, really. I'm never going to wear it anywhere. It's a, a different design anyways, but... That's, it's so huge. It's so... Like, what can I show you for comparison? Oh, a sticky notepad. So here's a sticky notepad. Like, it's the same size as a sticky notepad. Like, that's how huge it is. So, like, what are you going to put that on? Okay. Maybe I can just get a board and start collecting. Now, this is super cute. This is a Niffler. They've been doing a lot of Nifflery stuff lately. It's so cute. Niffler is from Fantastic Beasts, for anyone who doesn't know. Um, and they just like little shiny things. And, yeah, and Fantastic Beast it gets loose in a bank, and it gets loose in a jewelry store, and it has a little pocket like a kangaroo where it puts all its jewelry and stuff. So this is really, really nice. 
I really like it. And this is something, this is like a metal print. And so it has a magnet like on the back. So either what you can do is you can take the sticky part off the magnet and stick it to the metal and then magnet it to your fridge. Or you can put the magnet part on the metal and the sticky part on your wall and put it on your wall. But I don't like the wall part because to me that's like so permanent. Like is it gonna come off the wall easily? Is it gonna wreck the paint? I don't know. So I have just one other one that I got, the little one that was a, um, a Stag Patronus that I got in the last, in the June regular box. And I didn't do anything with it yet. It's just sitting. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Cause like this is massive. This is like an eight by 10. Oh my gosh. Got something in my mouth. I think it's an eight by 10. I have a piece of paper here. Yeah, it's an eight by 10. Um, so, I mean, once you get a couple of these, like your fridge is full. But yeah, but this is really cool. So I think most of these items are licensed. The display art is not, the pin is not. The keychain was licensed. The t-shirt was not, the sweater was not, but both the travel mug and the cell phone wallet holder those were both licensed so that's pretty cool now I'm gonna shut the lights off and see if it really does glow in the dark bear with me It's not like brightly glowing, but it's also not like super dark in here. Let me just see. Let me close this blind. Let's see. I guess it's kind of glowing. I don't know if you can even see that though. Can you see anything or is it just dark? <laughs> it is glowing. It is glowing in the dark. Because I shouldn't be able to see the design, but I totally can. All right. Turn the lights back on. That is all. Let me know what you thought of that box.